Robo Papa. Hey YouTubers, um, today I'm going to start a new series uh, talking about programming um, and specifically programming with uh, C Sharp. Um, as you can see over here, I have the Visual Studio 2013 Professional Edition Update 5. However, you will be able to still use uh, the Visual Studio Express, uh, which is free, or even older version of Visual Studio. In case you don't have Visual Studio at all and you still want to follow the code, you can go to .NET, .NET and that will give you the um, very similar environment with the compiler for the .NET 4.5 that you can do um, the coding and follow it. And it will give you intelligences as well as um, a console output. But I'm going to use the, the Visual Studio for now. So we'll go and we'll start a very simple project and we'll progress as we're going. And I hope in the future we'll get like into more advanced um, uh, concepts. So we'll go and start, create a new project, and we'll select the Visual um, C Sharp. And we will start the console application. So there are different types of projects over here that you can actually install. They're kind of like templates. Um, like the, the WPF and console application, any websites with the C-sharp language, etc. But we'll start with a console application. We'll give it a name. Um, we'll call it Hello World. And that's basically going to be our uh, first project. It's going to be a very simple um, Hello World, kind of like a blink LED if you're coming from um, the electronics. So we'll start and we'll go through a little bit on this IDE um, in case you're not familiar with that. Um, so over here we have the project itself uh, and the solution. You can see the solution is a low world. The project is a low world. And we have over here a file, which is a program.cs. And we can right click on this and rename it. Um, so let's do that right now. And we'll call it, uh, call it my name my main and I'll explain in a second why we can call it main and there's some application configs and, and such but we'll not get into it now um, we will have the namespace over here which is the hello world um, and once again I know it's all kind of like in a very high level and you probably have questions around uh, about it and it, actually if you do please leave me a comment uh, below and I'll be able to answer you um, with any questions that you have. But for now, this is just a container for what we are actually going to do. Um, every program that it's a console application will always have a static function that's returning a void type, and the name of it is main. That's why I couldn't call my class uh, main, because then it will be um, a conflict over here. The string array, this is how you're presenting an array. And we will touch with that about arrays and such in later episodes. Um, it's accepting a command line uh, parameters. But for now, we will just ignore it. So to start off, all we want to do is actually output to our console application, which is the standard output, the, the, world, um, the, the string hello world. So we'll call console, which is part of um, the system name namespace, and that's why we're doing the uh, using system, which we tell it use this, the namespace system. That way, we can have access to console functions or the console class itself. So we'll call the console, and we want to actually um, output to the um, standard output. So, um, so console dot right line. So we have two function. One is right line, which will automatically will put the new line in the end of our string, or we can just do the right, and it will just maintain the cursor in the end of our string. And I'll show both examples. So we'll do first the right line, and we'll do hello 
world. And just to show that I don't need to do any um, new lines for the console output, we will do another one, right line, and we'll do hello world 2. So we will run it. I'm pressing Control F5. That will build the um, compile this little project, and we'll start the application. And you can see that we have the hello world, and then in a new line, it's hello world too. So let's go through a little bit over here and see what actually we're dealing with. So, like I said, the namespace, we're giving a namespace for our project, um, and that's how we will reference it, so that my class will be able to be referenced inside this namespace. Every console application um, should have a static void main function. That's how actually the compiler will know where to start your project. Um, if you're coming from the Arduino world, when you have the declaration of the setup and the loop, and it knows how the loop needs to run every single time, it's very similar over here, just that it's on a single thread and it's going to run only once. Um, every main accepting arguments from the command line that you can pass, and this is where the args, and it's, a, it's an array of strings. Um, we basically using the system namespace, which container, it's a container for many other classes, which one of them is at the console class. And you can see over here with the intelligences that it tells you that it's representing the standard input, output, and error streams for the console application. Um, so that's what we wanted. We wanted to actually output something to the screen, which is the standard output. And we told it to write a line which basically it tells it to take this string and append a new line. So um, basically it's doing something like this. I could have achieved the same uh, line if I wrote it like this. If I wrote hello world and I gave backslash n that will actually write hello world, let's do hello world 3. It will write the line and put a backslash n, which is a which is a new line. What it does, it's take this carriage and it returns it to here, to the beginning, and it fits it for another line. That's that backslash, that's what it means. That backslash n. Um, so this is a very simple application um, which doesn't contain a lot. Of information but still it's a very nice um, starting point and you can practice with this and do a little bit more um, but as we progress we will actually have more and more challenges and more information to deal with so I know it's a short video um, but next time I'll start dealing with or touch about different types of uh, variables that uh, C Sharp have, the primitives, and I hope that I'll be able to touch also um, on a flow um, conditions um, within the C Sharp. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave me a comment below um, and I will be able to return to you with an answer. Uh, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe, um, that way you can get updates about my upcoming videos. Like I said, um, the next one will be about variables, types, and flow conditions within the C-sharp. Alright guys, thanks.